Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today, Dan the Story Man, to read a book, one of my favorites, and um, one of my brother Kurt's very favorites, called Dandelion by Don Freeman. Dandelion. I'm a little dressed a little fancy today, and you'll see why in just a few moments. On a sunny Saturday morning, Dandelion woke up, stretched and yawned, and jumped out of bed. There's Dandelion. After doing his daily exercises, Dandelion looked out of the window, blinked his eyes, and said, I wonder if the mail has come. He put on his sweater and went outside to the mailbox. There was a letter and it was written in fancy gold ink. <gasps> There's Dandelion looking out the window, and he got a letter. Hmm, fancy letter. And the letter said this. Dear Dandelion, you are invited to my tea and taffy party on Saturday afternoon at half past three. Come as you are. Sincerely, Jennifer Giraffe. <gasps> His friend Jennifer Giraffe's having a party. Dandelion was very excited. Why, that's today, he said. It's a good thing I plan to get a haircut. <gasps> there's that fancy letter in gold ink from his friend. And there he is. He's going to go get a haircut. As soon as he washed and dried the breakfast dishes and made his bed nice and neat, he ran down the street to the barber shop. Lou Kangaroo had a chair waiting for him. First, he trimmed Dandelion's hair. There he is, running down to the, the barber shop, And there he is, getting a haircut by Lou Kangaroo. <laughs> then he gave him a shampoo. Dandelion thought he should have a manicure, too. Ooh, got his hair shampooed. And then he's getting his nails cut. Cutting his nails. Getting fancy, like me. When Lou Kangaroo had finished, Dandelion looked a bit foolish. His mane was frizzy and fuzzy and completely unrulish. It was all over the place. Maybe a wave would help, Lou suggested, showing him a picture in the latest fashion magazine for lions. Ooh, look at his hair. It's all fuzzy over here. And Lou said, maybe you should get your hair curled. Let's see what happens. Dandelion agreed. This was exactly what he needed. So Lou went about curling his mane. Ooh, look at that fancy curling hair. There he is, getting his hair done. Let's see how he looks. He looked magnificent. But now, Dandelion thought he really should be, should wear something more elegant than a sweater to the party. Look at him. Look at Dandelion, his hair is fancy and curly. Now he's got to get some clothes to get nice too, but do you know what? Jennifer Giraffe said, come as you are. Is, is he getting, is he coming as he is? Or is he getting all dressed and fancy? This jacket is the very newest style, said Theodore the tailor. And it just fits you. All you need now is a cap and a cane. Happy Crane will be glad to help you. <gasps> Look, fancy jacket. And now he's going to get a cap, a new hat, and a cane to walk with. Fancy. What a dapper dandy he had suddenly become. It's never, it's, it's nearly half past three, said Dandelion. I've just time to get something for my hostess. Ooh, he's going to get something for Jennifer Giraffe. Look at him now. He's got a fancy hat and a cane. Hmm, is that what Dandelion always looks like? Or is he trying to look too fancy? A bouquet of dandelions would be perfect. Dandelion got dandelions. He knew this tall door very well, having been here many times before. <gasps> oh, got some flowers. Dandelions, of course. And there's that tall door. Jen Jennifer Giraffe has a very tall door. Of course, she's a giraffe. He rang the bell. Ding dong. When Jennifer Giraffe opened the door, she looked very surprised. Yes, she said. What can I do for you? 
Oh. There he is ringing the bell, and there's Jennifer Giraffe. I don't think she knows who Dandelion is. Does he look that different? Why? I've come to your party, he answered. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you are not anyone I know, said Miss Giraffe. You must have come to the wrong address. <gasps> Uh-oh. She doesn't know who he is. She doesn't even notice him, doesn't even know, he doesn't look like her friend. And with that, she closed the door right in poor Dandelion's face. I'm Dandelion, he roared. You've made a mighty mistake. But there was no use knocking. The door stayed tight shut. <gasps> there he is at the door. The door closed. What's, Dan what's Dandelion going to do? Dandelion began walking back and forth, back and forth, up and down the long block he paced. And as he paced, the sky grew dark. Then a sudden gust of wind sprang up and blew away his beautiful bouquet of dandelions. <gasps> there he is walking back and forth and oh no, a storm. There go the flowers. And his snappy cap flew off. To make matters worse, it began to rain in torrents. It was, it was, it was raining really hard. Dandelion dropped his cane and stood under a weeping willow tree. <gasps> there goes his hat. And there's, Dan, there's Dandelion getting all wet under a tree. Poor Dandelion. But the rain poured down through the branches. Dandelion was soon soaking wet. And his, curl, his curls came unfurled. <gasps> his curls are all gone. He took off his jacket and hung it on a willow branch. Luckily, he had kept on his sweater. There he is, getting wet in the rain. And there he is, like we first saw him. White sweater, no curls, just dandelion. At last, the rain stopped and the warm sunshine came beaming down. Dandelion decided, decided to sit on Jennifer Giraffe's front steps until his mane had dried. Here comes the sun. And there he is, just sitting on Jennifer Giraffe stairs, drying off. He looks so sad. While he sat there waiting, he spied three dandelion flowers under the bottom step, where they had been protected from the wind and the rain. He picked the dandelions and said, I think I will try again. There he is. Look, he see those, sees those dandelions under the stairs, and he's picking them. He's going to try again, going to the door. And he rang the bell. Ding dong. Well, well, if it isn't our friend Dandelion at last, said Jennifer Giraffe. We've been waiting for you for the past hour. I, I, I do hope you weren't caught in that awful cloudburst. <gasps> there he is. And she noticed him this time. She's like, oh, it's you, Dandelion. Does he look that different? She didn't even know who he was last time. Everyone at the party greeted him heartily. Hello, Dandelion. Hello, hi, Dandelion. Hi, Dandelion. Good to see you. Later on, when all her guests were enjoying tea and taffy, Jennifer Giraffe told Dandelion about the silly-looking lion who had come to the, do to the door earlier. There's all of his friends saying hi to him. And they were talking. And Jennifer Giraffe said, hmm, there was another lion that came to our door. <laughs> I didn't know who it was. Dandelion almost spilled his cup of tea as he reared back and laughed uproariously. Ha ha ha! That was me! I was that silly looking lion! Ha ha! Miss Giraffe was so flustered, she got herself all tangled up in her long pearl necklace. I do apologize for having closed the door on you, she said, blushing. I promise never to do a thing like that again. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know it was him. She was laughing. All of her friends were laughing, and Dandelion was like, it's okay. And I promise I will never again try to turn myself into a stylish dandy, 
said Dandelion, as he sipped his tea. From now on, I'll always be just plain me. Look, there's Dandelion, just being himself in his white sweater and, and hair, just mane like he, like he always has it. But look how he's drinking his tea. Pinky high. He is fancy. He is fancy, but just not as fancy as he was before. Thank you so much for listening to Story Dandelion by Don Freeman. And if you have any books that you like, please tell your parent, tell your grandparent, tell your teacher, and I would love to read that book for you. And, and they'll get in touch with me. So until then, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and toodaloo. Bye-bye.